same kimono as last week because I filmed this in one day. This will be a nice connecting video to last week, this week and next week because the kimono I will be wearing in the end of this video, which is going to be tomorrow, will be the kimono of next week's video. I like that. <laughs> I think maintaining your nagajiban is the hardest thing you can do because when you do the same like I do, when you're really fond of a nagajiban, you wear it all the time and if it's white, like mine I have right now here, it turns yellow with the time. I purchased this nagajiban for sale, which is $10 or 10 euros. Which means when I would give that in this condition to the cleaner store, I would have to pay 10 times of the original price to have it cleaned. And for me, the stains are already way too big to take care of it by my own because I simply just don't want to. So I thought, why not dyeing this Nagojipan in another color? This year, I have been back to Germany to attend my cousin's wedding and there are these easy colors called Simply Cool, which are obviously made in Germany since 1874. Wow. And those are colors that help you with dyeing, especially jeans, um, in your washing machine. I knew this color for ages because I often used Simply Cool to re-dye my old jeans to black or navy blue again. And I found out that they recently, or probably they had it like forever, but I, for me it was recently, I found out that they have a lot of different colors like this one, not only blue and black. And it says that you can also dye wool and silk. You don't see me experimenting that much on my channel, but you can see me right now and I'm pretty thrilled to try this today. And to dye my old Nagajiban into a color that is called Moonrot, which you would say in English, poppy red. And I love poppies and I hope it's little more poppy reddish than um, the package says. So we're going to do this today and I really hope it will turn out well. If not, if not, if not, <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Probably you're gonna see me cry in the end of this video, we'll see. For using this, this is a powder. Um, they have a lot of different products. I bought that one that says you can also use this for silk. So this is what I got. And for this, you also need um, something that fixes the color. Um, I just say the German word and then put down somewhere English, Farbfixierer. <laughs> and I'm just gonna check out how it's called in English later. I think I have English instructions in that package. Color fixative expert. That's what it's called what we're going to use after we have dyed it. Which textiles can I dye? Simply Cool Textile Dye Expert is suitable for wool, except for cashmere, mohair and angora, and silk and for all textiles made from cotton, viscose, linen and mixed fabrics. Preparation. One packet dyes approximately 300 gram of fabric to the full shade. I think there's more than 300 gram, but I don't want to have the full shade. That's fine. The fabric must be clean and stain free. I want to go around the cleaning thing. <laughs> I just gonna dye it right away and it will turn out horrible, we'll see. Dyeing in the washing machine, dyeing in a bowl of bucket, dye wool and silk in a pot. I am probably not going to do this in a pot will be fine in the washing machine, I hope. It says dyeing in the washing machine, place clean fabric loosely in the washing machine or top loader, cut open the top of the sachet.
problem, honeys. I live in a Japanese household and with a Japanese washing machine, which means I don't have anything like um, delicate mode or something like that. We don't use warm water for washing, it's only cold water. Tell me down below in the comments if you have uh, the same problems in other countries. I only know that in Germany we have washing machines with different degrees, settings and delicate settings and so whatever. So you could probably go with the instructions like they are here. I will go um, with what I know works good for jeans when we did this in our washing machine with the same color simply call and we did it a little differently but it worked out pretty well so I'm gonna do this with this Nagashiban as well today. So this is the Nagashiban that is going to be dyed. It is pretty 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 dirty. We'll see how it will turn out. <laughs> Okay, first of all, we have to take off the Han Eri and I will also take off the Emonuki that I always have sewed onto my Nagajuban. And then let's go right away to the washing machine. I hope this will work out. So here's a quick wrap up about how I am doing. First of all, I took off the things I don't want to have dyed. Then I measured the Nagajupan and I also noted the yardage which is very important because that's how you can make sure if the Nagajupan shrank while dying. And you can also make sure how much it actually has shrunk while dying. Then I filled three buckets with 6 degrees hot water and put it into the washing machine. By the way, in Japanese houses you can tell the top how hot you want your water to be. So that's how I can make sure it's definitely 60 degrees. Then I added the color fixative expert, the vinegar and the color like it was written in the instructions. Then I turned off the water, which is very important as well. And I put the washing machine on wash mode only. This will twirl the Nagashiban without adding any water. And I repeat this mode for about an hour. After that hour I turned it on spin drying mode and after that I washed an angashup on which I don't have any footage of. As I can tell so far, the Nagoshiban is dyed. I have it now hanging behind our house in a shady but airy place where it's going to dry. And I'm going to talk to you tomorrow when it's hopefully dried and gonna show you the result. Morning! I have the dried undergarment here. <laughs> Did you see it? No, okay. It's okay, I don't wanna have big spoiler alert here because it didn't really turn out as planned and um, I'm pretty angry at myself because it's my fault that it turned out that way because I didn't calculate at all how much packages of color I would have actually needed to have the color outcome that I wanted to have. And apparently one package for a long Nagajupan is not enough. And now we have this um, weird, dirty, <laughs> pinkish color. So you can tell this is definitely not the color I wanted it to have. I'm really angry with myself because those packages of Simply Coal are really not that expensive. I think one was 3 euro 49 cents. So it's probably about $3. So I could have easily purchased two more and then died with three packages and it probably should be 
and then I had the color I wanted to. I don't have the color right now. So I'm going to Germany in the end of this year again and I am pretty sure I'm gonna buy two more packages and then re-dye this. Because on the bright side I measured it and it didn't shrink at all which is amazing. Um, be sure that when it doesn't shrink that's not always the case sometimes it will shrink so be careful with that but I'm just very happy that it didn't shrink and I can try to dye this again the next thing which is very nice is it covered up all those yellow um, spots totally which I am very very happy I didn't wash it at all as you can tell and it worked anyway the really 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 dirty um, places like the opening of the sleeves so de Gucci um, they weren't really dyed very well but on the bright side again they aren't dirty anymore so I guess um, you should wash the really really dirty part of it and when it's just a light yellowish, you can be sure that it will be dyed nicely. I'm pretty sure that next time I'm gonna do it definitely right. I also would love to try other colors. When I was in Germany, we went to the drugstore right before we went to the airport because we didn't have any time to shop at all. So they only had this poppy red in um, the drugstore, but when you order online, they have way much more colors. And actually I wanted to dye it green, not red. So I'm definitely gonna do this again. I'm definitely gonna try another color and you're gonna get a part two of this Nagajuban that you can see how the outcome should have been. Last but not least, I forgot to mention that this video is absolutely not sponsored. You can actually tell from this outcome. <laughs> I liked my experiment and I hope you liked it too. If you did, leave me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to stick around a little more on this small, tiny, fun kimono channel, click the subscribe button and look forward to new videos from me. I look forward to your comments. What do you think? Do you have another way to dye Nagajupan or not? And I think um, to prevent those um, troubles with not having stains dyed, I am definitely gonna put up a little kimono washing guide in the next few weeks I hope you're looking forward to. And I talk to you in my video next week which is gonna be the ultimate kimono beginner tutorial, I hope. <laughs> Bye! So I'm sitting here in my Japanese room and I have the Nagajupan hanging here for I think about five days now because I didn't come around to sew no haneri onto it as you can see. And you know what? I am looking at it for days now and I started to like this pink. <laughs> I really started to like this pink. So yeah, I'm looking forward to wear this pink. <laughs>